Alright, rotate the camera, please. Man, if you guys know what I'm going through, you understand my pain. My pain at the moment is currently something very specific. I can't sleep. Because <laughs> I'm broke. That's, a, that's one reason, but I think a bigger reason is definitely like. I got too much in my mind and it's hot as fuck. Even I put the blinds up, now it's bright. And now it's bright and I got no sleep bro. Like no wonder I'm like, I'm not gonna grow like like this. I'm only gonna grow if I'm only gonna grow if I actually make changes that aid my my height growth. Not what I'm doing right now, which is not aiding my height growth. I don't fucking, I look like a bum, man. God. God. Like, the most annoying part is this video was gonna be like, I don't want to talk about it later on in the video, but like, I literally, I recorded one video. Which was like um get um think get your shit together video, and then I was like oh my god I'm so tired the lights on me whatever and I'm exhausted, guys I'm so tired guys holy shit guys, and then what happened straight after is I go in my bed I snuggle into my pillow I'm dozing off then I'm awake again I have a thought in my mind and then I reawaken I have the energy again to record another video. I have the energy again to work. Like, what is this, bro? What is this, man? I just want to sleep. Let me talk about this video. Three monitors. You know, I, I got three monitors. For the longest time ever, I wanted three monitors. And recently, I had three monitors. And in, in all honesty, like, I only had one on the entire time. It was connected to my laptop. So I was thinking about just changing my entire setup. And I got my setup for two monitors right now, but I don't use all the monitors, so it's pointless. So I was thinking to myself, like, how about I just don't use the other monitor? Well, period. I store it away for a while until I need it, then I use it. Wow. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I, I went for like full spectrum circle, you know, like a journey. I went from one monitor forced, two monitor. You know, wasn't forced. I bought my set. I bought my second monitor for like a 144 hertz monitor for 25 pounds steel, massive steel. Holy shit, what a steel! And then it's like it retails for like 159 pounds. Like, I don't know how the fuck I'm just this intelligent. I can steal. I still I'm, I'm, I'm a bargainer, bro. Anyways, I bought it for that much, and then after I went, uh, I got my monitors. I got two more monitors right there. I don't use. They're just there for show. And then I had, and then it was like it was my hobby, a uh, hobby for a while. And I thought I had my hobby, but it was, motherfucker, it was not my hobby, bro. It was just a waste of time. Got my third monitor, set it up. Realized there wasn't enough space to set up in the traditional way, straight. So I, I, tw I twisted two. I could put a photo when I make this into a short, so you guys will understand when it's a short. Um, it's two, but I think. That are portrait and one that's, you know, landscape. I'm gonna put another one on top that is landscape. So it'd be four monitors in total. And then, bro, I did that. Three monitors set up, and I just thought to myself like, this is not gonna be optimal for work efficiency. Like one is enough. Like one is already like, holy shit, there's a lot of stuff going on. Bro, three. How the fuck are you gonna get any work done? I was worrying about like cable management. Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. I won't be able to connect with the HDMI and the, the, the like, bro. How am I gonna use three monitors? It was what I wanted, but when I got it, I didn't want it. And I think a lot of things in life are like that. Um, I'm worryingly so about when I become wealthy, and obviously it'll be difficult, obviously it'll be arduous. But like Justin Muller was talking about it, and he was like, when you become wealthy. And become rich. You don't really like feel too much of a difference in life. Of course, there will be like no more 
because obviously you can buy what you want, you can eat what you want, you can go wherever you want. But like, let's just get rid of that for a second. You can eat what you want, you can buy what you want, you can go everywhere, you can buy anything, buy what house you want, you can buy what car you want, you get the nice fastest car, big house, you have that amazing lifestyle. But like, it's more so, I think, relief. And, you know, I think it's it's pushing into that dichotomy of when you grow up, you're smarter, and, like, and you often find it more difficult to be happy. You know, have you noticed that kids are always happy? Well, here's the reality of the situation. Kids are usually always fucking stupid. I was one of those stupid kids. And when I did become one of the more intelligent kids, I often found myself unhappier. I'll make the truth. When I was stupid, I was playing around and just being a kid, water gun shooting. Uh, I was very, very happy. But when I was like trying to, you know, learn new words, read a new book that was difficult to read, like just, you know, study, do this, stuff, do this more, you know, adult, ad adult-like, laborious activities, and become more intelligent. As a result, I often found myself unhappier, unsatisfied, and because of this. I often felt as if I needed to always chase the next big, th next big thing, and because I needed to chase the next big thing, I, I never found myself happy. It's the same that cost me in video games. Like, have you ever done a video game, or like played a video game, or played a game in general, like chess or Scrabble or anything like that, when you were younger, or Sudoku when you were younger, and then as soon as you grow up, as soon as you age, as soon as time passes, like, you're smarter, you're older. You're more aware, you have more experience in life, etc, etc, or whatever, I can list on, the list continues, I can list on a multitude of activities. You, you grow up, that's my general, how to this, analysis of the situation. And when you revisit that game, the video game, you're much, much better at it. I could say the same thing with Apex Legends, the same thing with Chess, same thing with Scrabble, same thing with um, Mario. I have Mario, the Mario games on my Nintendo DS. And, like, who who gives a fuck? Oh, that's a separate video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and you would re revisit it, and you'd be like, eh, it's not that fun. It's too easy. Kids. But when you were a kid, it was challenging. It was worth it. It was just like grinding. Ah, what the hell is going on? But then you're an adult, like, no, 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 whatever. Who <laughs> I can't, I can't, the joke is I can't do it properly, I can't it <laughs> And I think that I've got to be played in here with the three monitors things, and it plays in a lot of other things, and I think the best advice I can give to you, the, the viewer, like I don't know, my advice is amazing, obviously, is to just get used to it. It's the unsexy truth, it's not a sexy answer. Of course, I would be like, have goals and try different activities that would make you happy and satisfied, but if you're an individual like me, or an individual with any semblance of intelligence, which is honestly quite common in these days. It's just that the intelligence is suppressed by escapism, consumerism, entertainment media. It's a different topic, it's a different video. If you're any, anything like me, you're semi intelligent. A lot of people are. You find things like unsatisfying, I think, boring. You find things just. Like any time you will get a victory of Royale, or you are the champion, you would just be relieved. Any time you lost, you'd be insanely furious because your ego would not allow it. Any time I would do well in the spar, I would whoop this guy's ass. And obviously, I'm not trying to whoop his ass too bad. I'm not going full power, and I'm not even going full um, punching speed or full combination, nothing like that. But like I, I know I did well, and he couldn't hit me. I could hit him. <laughs> anything I do like that, I, I just felt relief. But anything time I would, when I'm getting my ass beat, I'm like I'm insanely furious, you know. And I like constantly playing out here in, in, in all sorts. This is the way I'm wired, and unfortunately it's going to be like that for a very long time and fighting is a good outlet for it but I should also like make money on the fucking side as well like make a lot of money like a lot a lot of money like a whole fuck ton of money if I do make a fuck ton of money then I can afford to spend time on <coughs> exploring other things what I think I really would be an avid by 
is space. It's like not only is it fear of the unknown, it's also like how do I say it's so fucking cool. Like, I always thought rocket ships, spaceships, like um, robot Gundams type mecha things were always so cool. Uh, I always thought it was I'm not saying oh uh, I always thought that it was like the next goal that I needed to achieve. The ne I want to I wanted to be the next Elon Musk. And I thought to myself like holy shit like be next Elon Musk would be so cool. But then the actuality of being Elon Musk like a stress over there, stress over that I know but it's a thought of oh my god I get to go to space which is cool. I get to look at my spaceships which is cool. I have a really cool spaceship. You know? There will be a time that is not even like a oh well, he knew the future. There will be a time where spaceships are as common as cars are today. Like cars? Like why would you have that? Why would you have that? If you're on a planet, just take the public transport. It goes everywhere on the planet. Sydney, Australia, <laughs> Spain, Cairo. England, just take the world water, just take the global train. It'll get you there in a point thing second. It'll get you there in five minutes. Five minutes, that's quite long, you know. From Japan to America, five minutes? That's quite long. Hyper rails, gang, it's not a long time today. It's gonna, that's gonna be a reality one day. And it's unfortunate I don't get to, you know, be in that reality. But, but then again, like, even if I was born in that reality, I would just get used to it, you know, with this human nature. You know, it's weird that caught me to be in. It's a weird fucking place to be in. And holy shit, man! I'm thinking about it more. Like, what the fuck? If someone's gonna live that, might if I have children, I am gonna have children. But like, motherfucker, man, I get no bitches at this point in time. That's quite annoying. But I'm um, kind of semi grateful. I don't because I can walk around. Holy shit! Fucking bitching all the place. Um. When I do have children, and they have children, and they have children, and they have children, they'll be strangers of like five generations, but they'll be my great 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 grandkids. Great 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 grandkids. In my heart. I feel whooped in the same. Yeah. <laughs> my hitting children here. There's a difference between like, hitting and abusing children uh, and disciplining them. That's a different video to Dude, I'm fucking. I'm a mask, so I'm all over the place. Oh my god, you cheat hell, man. I'm going to just feel my itch. Just love it, you know. It's work. You slap it. Pain. Instantaneous and, you know, triumphs the itch. Slap, rub, slap, rub. Asian technique. You're learning a technique right now. No. Guys, I'm making sauce. Only person making sauce is me. I, I, I get dirty talk, man. I'm, I'm, I'm um, I don't say um often, man. I don't try to say um. Please. But um. But. But like, I think that. Jesus, I shouldn't say like that, should I? But it's not going to be in, like with everything, bro. I'm tired, so now I'm going to use cap uh, opportunities to capitalize and go to sleep. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye. Mm -hmm.